Um, let's go in with a knight in the back. Let's go with archers in the back. Put our horses in the back. Um, and, <laughs> and let's go with a log right there. So, okay, he's got a lightning. I'm screwed. Hey guys, it's Lemon right here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And today we're gonna be trying to push up to 6,300 trophies with the 3.0 Classic Motorcycle deck. This deck is still super duper fun in this meta, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into a match. Alrighty, so looks like this first match is gonna be against GYQ from a Chinese clan. Good luck. Starting off this match. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead cycle a lot. We do have the tornado in our starting hand So we can't afford to be a little more chill and see what he's going to do if he's not gonna make a move I'll just cycle something in the back and uh, looks like he's not so I'll just go ahead and play my archers no big deal and um Hmm, okay, he's gonna go with a witch. Thank you very much. That's gonna be some really really nice rocket value for me and um, Yeah, the archer will finish off those skeletons and uh yeah, let's see here. Which definitely not not a fun not a fun card to play against. Uh, but here we're gonna go ahead get a king's tower activation right there, and then go ahead and just pull the balloon towards that mortar. Use our activated king's tower as well as our bats to take that out. Boom! Balloon just gets completely vaporized because all three of the towers are now activated. So, uh, balloon cycle. Um, hmm. It's an alright matchup. Some it's usually winnable. I find that oftentimes I can just like <laughs> rocket cycle. Um So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and keep cycling our cards. I'll go ahead and go with an ice spirit that'll hopefully force something out of him. And uh let's see, he's gonna go with some bats. We'll just split our archers and just kind of rinse and repeat. If he goes with a witch in the back, I'll definitely go mortar opposite lane. And uh, see if he goes in with something like a lumberjack. Uh, okay, he's gonna go with a Valkyrie, but the mortar still <laughs> locks onto the tower. Look at that. Let's go ahead, go. There we go with the knight that'll tank for the Valkyrie. And uh, let's see here. Uh, here, we're just gonna go ahead, go in with a log onto that witch. A really nice log. We'll push that witch back. Let's go ahead, go with Ice Spirit and Bats right there. That'll take care of that lumberjack. And look at this mortar just going to town it's gonna take that tower down to spell range or almost spell range so we can go ahead and go opposite lane so here we're gonna go ahead go with archers uh let's go ahead and go in with a log as well that'll finish off the witch and uh, that is going to be another mortar lock for us so yeah as you can see we're just completely controlling this match that tower's down within rocket range so no big deal uh let's go ahead and go with archers let's go ahead and go in with a log right there uh, let's follow up with a mortar right there. I don't think that'll pull the balloon, so I'll have to use a tornado to correct that, and the mortar will just get a few hits onto the tower, and hopefully take it down. If not, I'll just rocket that out, no big deal, and uh, see if we can Ice Spirit and Bats just finish it off. I uh, would like to save my rocket for defense, and uh, wow, it looks like he's just going to let the tower go. 10 seconds left. He, he looks like he's just given up. So yeah, as you can see, not that big of a deal. A pretty easy and a pretty chill way to start off this episode. Alrighty, so looks like this match is going to be against Henry, so good luck. And starting off this match, again, we do have the Tornado, so um, I am still going to cycle my Bats and Ice Spirit just because I don't have the Mortar in cycle. Like, an ideal starting hand would have both the Mortar as well as the... Um, the tornado but look at that he's just gonna throw that bandit away and uh either way bandit's not a very good matchup um but it is a hog so that makes things just a little bit better as you can see we can just get a king's tower activation and uh yeah that's gonna be pretty solid right there so let's go in with a knight uh i think it's that mega knight hog deck with like the all these baity cards so he probably has mega knight yep there it is but the mortar will still lock onto the tower which is really good for us uh let's go in with some archers right there let's go ahead and go with some minions as well and uh let's see here uh we're gonna have to try and cycle to a knight that'll finish off the bandit and hopefully that mega knight as well use a log just to you know make sure that that knight tanks for one extra hit that mega knight might get a jump onto the tower but uh, it is what it is and uh, wow the mega knight's gonna do okay Whew, i thought he was gonna get a hit as well that would have been a little too much for me um but yeah we'll, we'll definitely take this we're still in about a 200 damage lead so everything is perfectly fine so here 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play another mortar, and oh god, that is not what I want to see going into the mortar. Uh, that stuff just gonna get completely obliterated. Hopefully the mortar can still get a hit onto the tower. No, it's not. That actually sucks. Really, really unfortunate right there. Bat will get one little chip, and hey, you know what? I'll take it. And, uh... Yeah, heading towards double extra time. He's gonna Mega Knight in the back, so I'll just go ahead and cycle my log. Being careful, I don't want to push that Mega Knight back so that he builds up an even bigger push. Um, so yeah, his Goblin King is out of cycle too, so that's one more thing for me. And uh, let's see here, here. Uh, note how I play that. Let's go ahead and uh, NATO Ice Spirit right there. Uh, that'll pull everything in, take everything out. And uh, let's see, let's go with bats. Let's go ahead and go in with a log right there. And unfortunately, we are gonna take quite the beating right there. But, hey, it is what it is. Mortar will hopefully lock on. No, he's got the E-Wiz just in time. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's see, let's go in with a Knight right there. Um, and uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and go with some archers right there in the center. Let's go ahead and go with some bats. Let's rocket out the bandit actually. Uh, just because we will take any rocket value we can get. And uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go in with an ice spirit. Let's go ahead go in with a knight. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and use a nato to pull everything backwards. Let's go ahead and log everything out as well. And uh, there we go, uh, and we're gonna take that out. We're still in a slight lead, so <laughs> this is definitely a really close game. Um, hmm, okay, let's see here. Let's go in with some bats. He might Mega Knight at the bridge. Uh, okay, looks like he's not, so that's good for us. Let's go with a Knight right there. We're gonna go ahead and just rocket out those minions. I mean, he doesn't have too much else. And uh, of course, with the activated towers, we can just go ahead, NATO the Hog to the center, and then freeze it. Three towers will completely destroy the Hog Rider. No hits on the tower. And then we can go in with a Mortar. He has that Mega Knight down, but of course, two Mortar shots and a Log will kill that so let's go ahead and go in with archers and then a knight right there uh so let's see here uh doo -doo -doo. let's go ahead go in with an ice spirit so that'll pull everything in let's go ahead go in with a log oh no the mega knight gets a jump on the tower that's not good that's not good this is not good guys the hog will get a hit but fortunately the one thing about his deck is he doesn't have a big spell so now we're just gonna focus on log cycling his tower down so let's see here let's go in with a knight let's go in uh let's go ice spirit and uh bats right there let's go ahead go in with some archers uh, let's see here. Let's go with a log onto that and uh, Okay, that's a little more damage than I would like that you was better not. Oh, okay. 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 We're good We're good. We're good. We're good. We're all right. We're all right. We're okay. Hold okay Ooh, This is not good at all <laughs> Let's go ahead and nato the hog back and uh, fortunately, uh, I think we're good. I think we're good Let's go in with a rocket right there. Let's go ahead go in with a log. Let's go in with an ice spirit right there Oh my god the log. Oh, let's go. Oh, okay. We managed to get the win Um, I was a little excited there, but wow that was just an insanely close match. Oh my god and um, yeah, 62 69 nice and let's go ahead, hopefully hop into one more match. Alrighty, so it looks like this match is gonna be against Loxat. Um, and unfortunately, his trophies are not high enough, so I won't be going to 6300 after this match. So starting off, oh, wait, what am I thinking? I'm not going with the Mortar. Um, I have the Mortar and the NATO in the starting hand, so that's, that's definitely pretty good. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, he's not gonna play anything. Okay, he's gonna go with the Snowball. Let's just go ahead and cycle our Knight in the back. Uh, this is a cycle deck, so, you know, more often than not, I will be able to just cycle back to it. Uh, let's go ahead and go with archers in the back. And, uh, let's see, snowball's out of cycle, so let's go in with some bats uh, to finish off the Dark Prince. And, uh, let's see, you got minions, so... Okay, Snowball, Dark Prince, and Minions, P.E.K.K.A. Control, maybe, Goblin Giant Sparky, maybe, none of those are good matchups. <laughs> um, so let's see, let's go with a Log right there, that'll reset the charge of the Battle Ram. Battle Ram will die, uh, Tower takes care of the Minions, and then Knight Archers will finish off that push, nice and easy. So yeah, P.E.K.K.A. Control, not a very good matchup at all. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things work. He's gonna go in with another snow. Oh my god, I might have just thrown the game. 
Oh, that was not supposed to be a mortar. Okay, but the mortar will get a hit onto the tower, which I guess I can't really complain about. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and break the shield, and then go ahead and get a knight onto the E-Wiz. Make sure I take the E-Wiz out first. Uh, here, let's go ahead, go in with some bats onto this. Uh, let's go ahead and NATO all of those barbarians back, and then use an ice spirit that'll take care of all that. Unfortunately, that is a bandit connection for him. Really well played. I'll just log it out, I guess. We're gonna take quite a beating right there, but you know what? The game's still relatively tied up going into double extra time, so hey, I can't really complain, can I? Uh, so yeah, this is. This is definitely going to be a very interesting matchup because I don't like this matchup. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead, go in with a knight right there. Uh, not sure if he has the lightning version or the poison version. I feel like if he had the uh, poison, he'd play it already. But uh, here, let's just go ahead and go in with a mortar right there. He definitely has elixir for the P.E.K.K.A. There it is. And um, yeah, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and just reset the charge onto that right there. Let's go ahead and go in with a knight to pull everything over. Valkyrie, I'm uh, not Valkyrie, Archer's down. Um, okay, we got a pretty big push here. Uh, let's go in with, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm not, I'm, I'm probably not commentating very well right now, um, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go in with a knight, uh, not a knight, a mortar to pull the battle ram. Let's go ice spirit, let's go archers right there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna live to survive another day. Let's go. Um, so, okay, that was a waste of a log. Um, but let's see here. This is definitely going to be very, very difficult. So let's go ahead and go with a knight. Um, hmm, this might just end up being a draw, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and rock it onto the P.E.K.K.A. right there and uh, see what he's got. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Let's go with a defensive mortar right there. That way he, can I'm gonna force him to go with the, in the left lane right there. Uh, oh, he's still gonna go right. Okay, let's go in with a ice spirit right there. Oh no, the P.E.K.K.A. range. That's not good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go with archers right there. Let's go in with a knight onto the dark prince. I swear. Oh my god, I thought that P.E.K.K.A. was gonna get a hit. Okay, um, let's see here. Oh no, the bandit! Oh god, the bandit! The dumb bandit! What are you doing, bandit? Okay, um, that's not good. Uh, we're just gonna rock it. Um, that's uh, 1518. Oh, we're gonna catch the battle ram. Let's go. Uh, 1518, I believe, is two rockets and two logs, or two rockets and three logs. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, it's two rockets and three logs. That kind of sucks. Um, but let's see here. He's definitely going to go all in on this push. So let's see here. We're going to go ahead. Let's go in with a knight right there. Uh, let's see here. We're going to log this back to reset the charge on it. Let's go ahead. NATO everything backwards this way. Let's go ahead. Ice Spirit to this lane over there. Let's go ahead. Go in with a... Oh, no. Oh, God. The mortar better get a hit onto the tower. I swear if it doesn't. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to really... We're going to have to really put some husk in this. Uh, let's go ahead. Go in with a log right there. And the log is going to reach the tower. Let's go. Okay. That is... These are some really close matches. <laughs> oh, man. Another win. But we still aren't at 6300, so you know what that means, one more match. Alrighty, so looks like this one is going to be against Zia from the clan Turkish Farm. Good luck and starting off, ooh, he's going to be a little more aggressive. We missed the pull on the Barbarian because we suck. <laughs> um, so yeah, Barbarian will get one hit onto the tower, unfortunately. He's going to have a baby dragon, so ooh, this is not a good matchup again. So we're going to go ahead and go with a knight in the back. Uh, but to be honest, uh, battle, uh, Bar Barrel and Baby Dragon could honestly mean anything, uh, and it looks like it's going to be Golem, so, mmm, don't like that at all, but Golem is definitely a matchup that we can win, so let's see here, we're just gonna go ahead, rocket out the Night Witch, uh, hopefully we'll hit the Night Witch and the Golem, uh, there we go, the Golem has a pretty big hitbox, so, yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We're just gonna get an activated King's Tower, and that's gonna be a really easy initial defense, to be completely honest with you. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and go with a Knight uh, right there, and then we can just pull the Golem to the King's Tower, get a King's Tower activation, and, um, and yeah, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and pull the Mini Pekka back with those Archers, and um, yeah, that that that's gonna be a really solid first defense. We took almost zero damage, and while his tower's all the way down to 24. 29 so 
Let's see here, we're gonna go with some bats right there. Let's go ahead and follow up with an ice spirit that will force out a baby dragon. And uh, if he has his baby, oh, never mind, he's got a zap. Okay, I was gonna say, if his baby dragon's out of hand, honestly, it makes the golem push so much easier to defend just because the baby dragon with its splash is just the most annoying card, so we're gonna get it out of hand right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, so 15 seconds left until double extra time. Uh, he's definitely gonna build up a big push. I mean, the two cards that you really wanna rock it out in a golem deck are the baby dragon or the night witch, because those are the two most annoying ones. Uh, but anyways here, uh, we're just gonna rinse and repeat, go in with a mortar right there. If he has a lightning, I'm screwed. Um, let's go in with a knight in the back. Let's go ahead and go with archers in the back. Let's go ahead and put our horses in the back. Um, and, <laughs> and let's go with a log right there. So, okay, he's got a lightning. Uh, but we have cycled back to our second uh, our second mortar. So that'll pull everything in. And uh, let's go in with some art, uh, a knight right there. Uh, let's see here, log will hopefully catch everything. Uh, okay, he's got a lot of stuff right there. Uh, but hey, we're gonna defend it. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're gonna go in with a mortar right here and uh, see if we can predict if, okay, that wasn't really a prediction, but it's gonna lock the mortar onto the tower. 22 seconds left, knight down will tank for the barbarian. And look at this, I don't know if he has, oh no, he has a zap, that kind of sucks. But hey, you know, it is what it is. The mortar's still locked onto the tower, oh my God, is he just letting that mortar go? Okay, we'll take it. That that's gonna be game for us, GG. Nice and easy, taking down a golem deck. Wow, this was such a good episode, guys. So, yeah, there we go. We pushed up to 6,300 trophies. Definitely very excited about that. Uh, top 6,000 as well, so that's definitely really nice. Interested to see how high I managed to push at the end of this season. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend of Ray, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.